Crows goes to look in a mirror and, like, slap himself in the face. I'm number one. I'm number one. <laughs> oh, my That's God. That's not what I do every night. <laughs> I swear. Shut up, Kagura. You don't know anything about me, the great and all-powerful taco. Would you fuck me? I'd fuck me. <laughs> I, I don't say that to myself. No. No. Um, I don't like you guys anymore. <laughs> So I'm just going to take my little sister and just walk away from you guys. Okay, thanks, bye. You're not even <laughs> in anybody other's plot line, so you can't. Ah. <laughs> it hurts, do I used to lie. The conversation has run dry. That's why it's we're going to the next Tauco chapter. <laughs> All right. Chapter 7, My Wife for the Night. My Wife for the Night. Oh, oh my yeah. wife for the night. <sighs> I can never forget Tauko's soft smile as he looked at me from under the cherry tree. As time passed, I become, became even more nervous that I was imagining things. The moon rose into the sky, and the town grew, grew quiet, and the presence of the people became sparse. It might be dangerous to go there at this time, but I want to meet Tauko so badly. The feeling to meet him grew inside me, and I could no longer stand it. But before I knew it, I was once again clutching money in my hands. I set off for Yoshiwara. Though it's night, this is the only place that has the hustle and bustle of a fair. I just came here without much thought. I, I hope it's alright. With a sense of worry, I dived into Kukia. Oh my, Kanasan. Welcome. Come inside. Will it be to cow for as what today as well? The manager at Aroha-san approached me with an unnatural smile. When I nodded in response to Aroha-san's words, his face twisted into an apologetic expression. I'm sorry, but to cow is currently at a banquet party. We're not sure when it will end today. Well, is it okay if I wait? Indeed. If you wait today, you may be wasting your time because it'll be fairly difficult for me to pull him out from the middle of a banquet. That's right. Tauko is Kukia's courtesan. It won't be that easy to meet him. Won't you permit me to introduce you to some other gentleman? Why does the Roha specifically like do this to for, for Tauko? Like, he specifically does it's this. It's a business thing. If everyone's all backed up trying to get to Takao, all the other courtesans aren't serving people, yeah, they're making less money. It seems a little bit like he's been trying to do this for a while, but like it makes it seem more sinister. He doesn't At like Takao. At the same time, when Kagero was talking trash about Tokiwa, Iroha had told him to shut up. So I don't know. What if this entire time in like every single storyline, like Hayabusa is just like walking by them, they're like, Kana? No, no, no. Get <laughs> I, I like how it's cute, Bobby, how you think that your characters are part of the story. Bravo <laughs> <laughs> boots like a dream. Bravo boots like a dream. They will show you a good time. I was about to be dragged in by Aroha San's smile. It's difficult to meet Takao San today. If so, then I. I. give up. We'll still wait. That won't do. I'm, st I'm gonna wait. I can't complain, are you kidding? I will wait. <laughs> I would still like to wait. Please, let me wait. I bowed deeply. As I did so, I could hear Aroha San sigh. So you're that smitten with Taco. Taco must be pleased. Huh? Fine. Please wait for Takawa as you see fit. Thank you very much. With a subtle smile on Aroha-san's face, he called out to somewhere in the distance. Someone, please guide Kanasan to the parlor. Ordered by Aroha-san, a young boy appeared. He came near me, bowed, and then guided me to the room. The Hi, miss! <laughs> the light of the lantern held by the attendant shined on his feet. Lanterns had also been placed in the garden, making it fairly bright. We continued like this through the hall. Ah! Takao! Could this be the banquet? From a small opening in the sliding door, I could hear voices of laughter and music. 
Among them was Takao, who stared at me as I walked into the hall. He didn't even try to hide his surprised expression. She's back. He's probably thinking something like that. Once I gently lowered my gaze and gave a light bow, I was urged into the room by the attendant. I thought I was being guided to the parlor, but perhaps the rooms were full due to the banquet, so I was guided into the gentlemen's quarters. It seemed that Tokiwa was also brought to the banquet, so there was no one in the room. I couldn't bring myself to drink the sake that the attendant had prepared for me all on my own. From the window, I looked down at the cherry tree. Even this late at night, it still looks beautiful. From the moonlight and the lantern light, I could clearly make out the figure of the cherry tree. He was looking down from here. Right now, we're under the same roof. I may just have to make do with this today. While looking at the beautiful cherry tree under the moonlight, I began to think about this when a slamming sound arose and the sliding door opened. Sorry to keep you waiting so long, Kana. He like, he must have like fucking jetted out of that banquet. <laughs> he pieced out for sure. <laughs> Low bye. I bailed for you. <laughs> Taoko, is, is this okay? Okay or not? I came because I knew Kana is here. Ah, it's cute. Though, I'm the very person that told you to come to the shop. I really had no idea that you would come regularly. I I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? Because, Taoko, you're Kukuya's bestseller. Is it okay for someone like you to leave? I choose my clients. That's the way it's been so far. But also, if you leave your post, you won't receive payment from your client. That's none of your concern. And if I leave you by yourself, you're likely to be attacked by a gentleman urged on by Aroa. See, there's something going on between them, and I have no idea what. Like, there has to be, <laughs> because... Him He's has... after me. <laughs> I'm just too good. Iroha used to be at Kordasan beforehand. Maybe they were rivals before Tokiwa was his rival. I don't That's think possible. so because I think Iroha is too old. They say he's past his prime in his description. Mm. So I don't think that would happen. Are you so sure? You're still naive. Oh, please. And... I'm not so pathetic that you need to worry about my payments. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Should I hold a banquet someday? I've been stealing Takao's nights away so often, so I thought I should ask if there was something I could do. It'll be too much for you, and there's no need for that. How could you say that it's too much? Because, of course, it would cost a huge amount of money. Since they bring out other gentlemen of the night, not just the one you that you've chosen. He obviously doesn't want it to happen because he wants to capitalize. <laughs> You're Sorry, all mine, Kana. But it's true. <laughs> Indeed. That might be difficult with what I've already received. But if it's just once... Hey! Has Iroha put you up to this? Huh? Before I could ask what he was talking about, Tauko grabbed my arm. Seems like something he could do. Listen to me. Not only Takiwa, Tokiwa, moving forward, you should be even more careful around Aroha. I don't see what you're talking. He pressed forward with the most serious face that I've ever seen on him. Don't tell me, Kana. You're not up to something strange, are you? What on earth is he worried about? Up to something strange? What do you mean? Never mind. Well, I guess you're okay, but... I don't really know what you're talking about. <laughs> Indeed. Takao laughed in a slightly self-deprecating manner. Sorry, Kana. I thought you were in debt to the shop or something. You're not, right? He peered intensely at my face as he asked this. Tauko intensifies, <laughs> searching my expression <laughs> for an answer. I'm not doing something like that. I, I came here with my own money. Oh, I see. I'm relieved to hear that. 
After feeling Tauko's genuine feeling of relief, he narrowed his eyes and smiled. His smile, overflowing with such tenderness, was directed at me. And because of that, I blurted out something that I had no intention of saying. Actually, it would be nice if I had enough to buy your freedom. <laughs> huh? Takao widened his eyes and made an expression of surprise. Then, he erupted in laughter from the pit of his stomach. <laughs> Someone like you? Set me free? Th that's, um, well... I know that it's presumptuous of me. But I can have my hopes, can I? You don't need to laugh so much. <laughs> I guess you're right. Sorry to laugh like that. But that kind of thinking is so kinda. Though it was after the event, I felt I had said something naive. 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 And I regretted saying it. Oh, I I'm sorry to have said something strange like that. It may have been too late to apologize, but I couldn't stand not doing so. I continued to keep my face down. Then, he placed his arm around my back and held me in close. In my ears, he whispered words that made my heart tremble. I said at the beginning, didn't I? I don't exactly hate your rashness. Takao, why have you been so cold lately? What you did with me, it made me scared. This thing is going to be cute! Get ready to bar rainbows! <laughs> my fangirl- <laughs> My fangirl senses are tingling. <laughs> Alright boys, time to take a smoke break if you can. Something scary. With Takao? Ah. I wavered between joy and sorrow in response to your words and actions. I can't believe you make me feel like this. In the moment that followed, I tried to return his embrace. Then, my body slowly fell backwards. Oh, I, I was pushed down. For a while, my mind went elsewhere, and I imagined this as if it were happening to someone else. You're such a good woman. It's almost too much to bear. Your expression, it's so tantalizing. His mouth, which breathed such words, bit my lips softly. A large tremor ran through my body, and a voice escaped from my lips. <laughs> oh, I thought we weren't going to do this for a while. Hey, I got an email. <laughs> uh, um, hmm. You don't need to say a word. I'll make you feel good. Before I could reply, Tauka's tongue invaded my mouth. His tongue searched for mine and tried to intertwine itself with my tongue. Embarrassed- Kagero, get the sword. <laughs> <laughs> embarrassed, I attempted to make a quick escape, but Taukud would not allow it. There was absolutely no escape from his arms. Uh, um... <laughs> <laughs> Stop making fun of me! <laughs> <laughs> Look at what Crows has to say! <laughs> So, Patrick Bo, what were you guys doing today? Oh, I told Kana to stick her tongue out. <laughs> oh my god. On the Bo next episode of Name Not Final. Bo we should record a session live during Name Not Final. Yes. That'd be hilarious. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can do this. I can do this. Come on, Crows. This is too it. explicit. This is, uh... Do it physically and metaphorically. Wait, wait, do what? It. What? 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 Hold what? On. Hold on. Bobby, no! Put <laughs> swords involved. You can do this. Uh... Come on, prove it. You can do it without a side dish. Let's do it. Bobby being the cheerleader over here. You can't do it. Yes, you can't. Look, that's what Bobby's doing. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Talco oh. intensifies. Talco intensifies. Talco intensifies. Talco intensifies. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can skip the line. It's no, okay. no, one more shot. Give me one more shot. Come on, crows. Okay. Just remember the size of your Chinese-style ship. Let's do it. Oh, gosh. 
You're not helping! <laughs> I'm, really not. <laughs> I'm not editing any of this out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Come on, Telco. You can do it. <laughs> you do. You're a dick. You're a dick. <laughs> Bobby just wants me to skip the lines. No. <laughs> we can do this. Intensify the Telco. Okay. You Bobby, shut up, down. Bobby. Uh, Bobby no one cares about the right now. Calm down. Bobby's way too excited for this. He's more Bobby. excited than I am, and I'm the fan girl. <laughs> I'm having fun. This is fun. Oh, oh I'm so glad you. I don't have a webcam right now. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <clears throat> Bring out your tongue, Kana. Da 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 da. Yeah. As my vision began to blur, Tauko's words further increased my shame. This was not a command. His voice was very sweet and gentle, and yet I couldn't resist. As he said that, I brought out the tip of my tongue. It's nice to kiss you, but I can't hear that great voice of yours. It became clear as soon as he began to lick the tip of my tongue. It made my voice come out louder. Nope. <laughs> While Taoko stared at me intensely with his gentle eyes, little by little he gently undressed me. I knew these scenes would get worse. Oh. <laughs> You really have nice skin. I'll never forget that. I don't want any other gentleman of the night to touch it. That's no cute. one. It's cute. Fuck. And that's when everyone bursts into the room. <laughs> to Cal. It sounds like his true feelings. Saying something like that with such a sad voice. It made me believe that these were Taoko's true feelings. Sorry, Kana. Don't mind me. You're my wife for the night. It was silly of me to talk about other men. Uh. Look at that. Okay. Always straight to the point, right, Taco? <laughs> straight to the tip, <laughs> not oh, the point. Just the tip. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> uh, All right, this is when we put the kids to the bed. <laughs> I'm not crying yet, though. You know what that means, right? <laughs> I, I don't understand. I turned away in embarrassment, but he immediately grabbed my chin and turned my back around. All it took was some kissing and a little petting. <laughs> <laughs> to make this part become so firm. Uh, uh, no, you're wrong. What's wrong? You're responding quite well to my fingers, aren't you? It's just like your character. <laughs> Innocent and obedient. It's so adorable. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Was that Bobby? That was I'm Bobby. To <laughs> what was that uh, Bobby? <laughs> Like, Bobby's fast rolling intensifies. Like, yeah. Oh my god. Bobby, can you give me a picture so I can put one in the video of you intensifying? <laughs> <laughs> okay, give me a second. Uh, I don't have to do it right now, but... As he teased me, um, with his fingers my body bent like a bow. A sweet tingling sensation ran the course of my body, and I'm not saying that line. I... I, I feel funny. I felt as if I were about to drown in a melting sweet pleasure. Despite feeling this embarrassed, it made me want more. You look happy. I don't know, can you see my webcam? I'm not sure what expression, what feeling I have right now. Uh. Don't look at me with such inviting eyes. You'll make me want everything about you. Tauko stared at me intensely. Tauko intensifies. <laughs> His movement stopped, and he looked down at me with such sadness. Tauko? Then he straightened his ruffled clothes, clothes and quickly slipped away. I was really surprised that he ended so soon. I... Um... Why did you stop? That question came into my mind before I could become overcome with shame. Do you want me to continue? 
No, that's not what I meant. If so, then try to entertain me a little more. Try to entertain you? Ooh! <laughs> oh. This is interesting. Okay, I didn't expect it um, to go here. You want I me don't to think you should make it rain. No, no, you shouldn't you make it want rain. Me to make you want a me to make a move? Question mark. Yeah. 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 Do that. Do that. Also, I'm sending you the picture of Bobby intensifying, and I think it's brilliant. <laughs> so, you're saying that you want me to make a move? I asked with a trembling voice. When I did so, Talco began to laugh loudly. <laughs> you kill me. <laughs> I'm here to pleasure you, you know? To start, it'd be absurd to act something like that of a virgin. I, I don't understand your feelings, Takao. I don't know what to say then. I still don't really understand myself either. He's falling and he doesn't know how to deal with it, man. I care about you. That is certain. But I still don't know what I should do with you. This is a first for me. I understand even less now. My body, remembering the joy of being touched by Takao, throbbed, feeling something was missing. If I couldn't have Takao all to myself, then I hoped that he would at least want me. Perhaps all women who have fallen in love with gentlemen of the night felt the same. And that's why they pay money. Money is everything. I know that money is what connects me to Tauko, but to be confronted with the clear reality of it all was deeply painful. Oh my fuck! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Or if you want to see the rest. Oh. I kind of. Do we have time for another Tauko chapter or no? Hey, Kana, if you choose me. After he said that, he brought his lips close to my ear. If you choose me, I'll bring you to a happy place. You know? Say in your story! In your story, you're interesting. Stop coming to other stories!